Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everybody's fabulous. Um, sorry you guys didn't get a weekly last week. Um, my son and I were diagnosed with you know what. And um, yeah, it's been rough. I'm finally feeling up to like reading cards again. So, okay, we're just going to hop right into it. Seven of Pentacles popped out for my air signs. Okay, I do this by the elements for those of you who are new here. I'm going to start with air, go around the wheel accordingly because it is still Aquarius season. Fair enough. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. If not, check your moon rising, your Venus reading. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Everybody's always welcome at my table. If you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you think we might vibe and stuff, I mean, that'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming to hang out one more time. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. That only causes fights and drama and all that happy jazz. So let's just not. High Priest just reversed at the bottom of the deck. What's going on with that? All right, I'm going to tip down for my air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February, I'm going to say the 5th through the 12th, 5th through the 11th, we'll do the 5th through the 11th, okay, wow, Hung up on something. The problem is the door's closed. Waiting for something. What are you waiting so patiently for? I think your patience is going to run out this week with this temperance reversed, knight of swords reversed, ten of wands. Let me finally block communication out altogether. This Ten of Wands indicates the release of a burden by letting something go. It's all happening. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed. I had to stand up and do what was best for you. Somebody was juggling, couldn't make up their mind about something, a seed that didn't grow. I feel like, okay, the outcome here is conflict, five of wands, but the make or break in the conflict is queen of wands, so standing up for you, what you want, going after what you want, embracing your fire. All right. There's a wounded ego here. High priest just reversed. Somebody's got a wounded ego. I clarify first. All right, see if I can get a jumper off this. That's a lot of jumpers. But we'll take them. Ten of swords. Queen of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Something's reversed. Temperature first came back out. There's a lot of negative energy in this connection, guys. A lot of impatience. Things ain't flowing. You've realized your worth and locked somebody out. You're getting perspective, but at the same time, you're not wanting to let something go or something's not wanting to let you go. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the challenge? Why the Four of Pentacles? One card for the Four of Pentacles, please. Thank you, Queen of Swords. You want the truth of about a matter. That's what you want. You're patiently waiting for the truth. I think deep down you already know it, but you're waiting for somebody to say it. Why is temperance reversed here for what's coming in? Thank you. Queen of Wands reversed. Ooh. 
jaded. Ticked off. Possibly a little bit of jealousy. Negative energy. Give me one more on that. Just one. Confusion. You just want to know what's up. You just want to know what's up. Somebody being quiet, though. Why didn't I just swords reversed? Why didn't I just swords reversed? Devil. Oh! Could be a Capricorn involved in the mix. Oh, oh, oh! Three of Cups. Oh, gosh, I was afraid of that. There's somebody else involved here. You know. You, you're waiting for them to say it. They're not saying it. King of Cups. Poker faced. Poker face. If there's still communication, they're not telling you the truth. There's emotion there. They're not expressing it. They have emotion for more than one person. All right. Ten of Wands. Talk to me about this Ten of Wands. The release of the burden. Chariot. Distance. Could be a cancer. world. I don't think I need to beat that dead horse anymore as to what's coming in. It's going to come to an end. The burden's going to get released. The cycle's going to close out. Somebody's going to put distance in there. Alright. One on this five of swords. One on this five of swords. Four of pentacles. Oh. Uh. Libra, justice, balancing the scales, being miserly, not wanting to let they Okay. Eight of cups. There could have been an argument. Someone tried to come in and balance the scales out. There's a return. They came back. They didn't want to let go. Tried to balance the scales, tried to be fair. Two of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. When somebody's juggling, giving more to one than the other, hanged man reversed. Oh, that's the gallows. That's the gallows when you can't make up your mind. Nine of Wands reversed. No one you gotta throw in the towel on something. Can't decide which one you're gonna throw the towel in on. Ace of Pentacles reversed. I don't know. Yeah. And it all came tumbling down. The door slammed. The door slammed. The seed did not grow. Four of Wands reversed. The door slammed. Seven of Wands. And there's the conflict. There's the standing up. There's the rising up, doing what's best for you, allowing the painful cycle to end, realizing your worth, knowing that the energies are not... Uh, but you waited, you're waiting for them to confess. That's the thing. You're waiting for them to confess. I feel like the confession's coming.
Five of Wands, one on the Five of Wands. Lovers reversed. There's going to be a conflict. There's going to be a disconnect. Can you guys see that? Not really. Horrible angle. I apologize. It's not going to end well. It's not. It's going to end in a disconnect. It's going to end in conflict. But here's the difference between the Queen of Wands upside down and the Queen of Wands right side up. You need to maintain your stance and know what you want. You want a new start. You want something to actually kick off. You want something stable. This is not stable. Know what you want. Embrace the truth. Embrace your worth. Know what you want and go after it. Five of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Put an end to the conflict and the strife. Chalk it up to... I don't know, what would the crazy tarot lady do? Let them go. They can't realize your worth. They're only going to give you half a cup all the time. They're going to be dancing between you and somebody else. Let them go. To be fair. Mm. To be fair. To be fair. Number 38. 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. A decision to be made, possibly. But you make it with the clarity. Oh my gosh. It's between 37 and 39. Yes, that would be 38. Balance, justice, and need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Okay. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nurturing, yet nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from... You move from being... <laughs> Faith, slow down. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this, at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment. And you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Shit went down, guys. Shit went down. Things happen. It's the things happen card. They don't always happen the way we want. They always happen for our benefit. Okay? Okay. I'm going to pause and we're going to move on to water. All right, water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 5th through the 11th. That's a whole lot of information. Let's not. Okay, let's shuffle. See if I can get a flyer. Two of Wands, King of Swords. Hmm. There is a decision to be made, but can you make it with logic and not emotion? That's a great question. All right. Two shuffles. Full reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed. You don't trust someone. Your challenge is pulling back an offer. Or not accepting an offer when it comes to you. 
you have to make a decision based on logic and not emotion. Ace of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Eight of Swords reversed. One second. Sorry, had to deal with something real quick. Okay. Coming to a few conclusions, I feel like. Why? King of Wands, Empress, Page of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles, Emperor reversed. Back to the drawing board. The ability to humble oneself. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. Self-love. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta know why. You don't trust it not accepting or pulling back an offer, making a decision with logic and not emotion. And flyer. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Give me a flyer. your emotional well-being making a decision without emotion for your emotional well-being possibly doing what's best for the family okay not trusting one on the full just one legal matter. Oh, shoot. Knight of Pentacles. You're holding back. You're holding back an offer. It's not not trusting necessarily. That could just be not jumping into something. Try not to jump into something. The fool can be rather foolish. Some of you could be trying to avoid a legal matter. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed here? forward, something didn't grow, something didn't kick off. Lack of communication. Oh, well, it was a painful ending or the end of a painful cycle. Whatever didn't kick off didn't end well. Feels like a sudden stop. Someone may feel a little bit betrayed. Some lies may have caught up to someone. Why this King of Pentacles? King of Wands reversed. lot of information but there's a king of wands down here an empress and a page of pentacles reverse this is connected it 
hanged men, ace of wands, four cups reversed, three of pentacles reversed. Accepting the fate of the situation. This didn't, this isn't going to end well at all. I can feel this. Someone had to end something third party, or they're about to. Something they've been up in arms about. Yeah. Somebody had stopped juggling two of pentacles. Somebody had to choose which coin, which coin was benefiting more. Somebody's gonna have to choose. Someone's holding back. Someone's holding back their coin from someone else or their offer. Or something's being held back from them. The fool isn't jumping. The fool is trying to avoid a legal situation. The fool may be trying to, to trying to avoid a divorce. I'm just throwing this out here for somebody. High priestess. Yeah, there's secrets. I'm gonna no. We're gonna leave these out. There's secrets being withheld. Someone needs to get something off their chest. Someone's hiding something. Eight of Swords reversed. Why the Eight of Swords reversed? The Star. Five of Wands reversed. I'm just trying to avoid conflict. If I don't think about it, if I don't address it, if we don't deal with it, we can heal. If we just avoid the conflict, we can heal. You know that? No. Making a decision, what's best for the family, what's best for the home, what's best for life. If I avoid this, it will just go away. I don't feel like this is going to go away. I see an avoidance of conflict. I see a healing. Page of Cups reversed. I don't see this going away. If I never bring it up, I never have to apologize. Oh, gosh. Why the King of Wands? Page of Wands. Could have been an age difference. Oh, my. Emperor reversed. Empress. Why the Empress? Why the Page of Pentacles reversed? Seven of Cups reversed, confusion. Mm. Lies, deception, foolishness. I 
I feel like this King of Wands wasn't very Emperor-like. Insert whatever sex you need to place yourself wherever you see fit. I'm telling a story here. Just go with it. The Emperor stopped working on things. The fool jumped. His demons defeated him. There was a pullback. Financial life was threatened. Family was threatened. I don't mean like literally threatened, but there was lies, there was deception, ace of swords, a new start, a start over, a start over, the page of pentacles pulled back an offer, pulled back, pulled away, there was secrets. chariot. Pull back, pull away, put your distance in. Secrets, secrets, secrets. The secrets are coming out. Back to the drawing board. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Sun reversed. You gotta put in the work if you want to fix this. Take a step back, look at things from a logical perspective. Can this come back together? Happiness is something you have to work toward. You both have to put in the effort. Somebody needs to humble themselves. Why the Emperor reversed? Chariot. You got a nine of wands. Walls got to come down. You have to steer the chariot where you want it to go. Get control back of the chariot. You got to humble yourself. Someone may have to get something up. There may be a conflict coming that can no longer be avoided. Like, the longer you keep your lips zipped, the worse it's going to be. Five of Pentacles. Be some cold, dark, lonely nights coming. Oh, where's my cards? That's my book. Where's my cards? Oh, wow. Okay. I don't feel like it should have been that easy. Chop wood. Between worlds. Okay. Well, maybe it was that easy. Maybe it was. 42. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 is the number of balance. 3 is the number of divinity. Number 42, chop wood. Being grounded in everyday experience. Humility. Hmm. Wasn't I just talking about someone having to humble themselves? Hmm. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling the dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to leaving it be to let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. 
taking your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. If you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which brings you ever closer to what you seek. Number three, between worlds. Transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You're done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place, between what was and what will be, is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There's a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is yours to understand, not yours to understand, weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you're invited to see with curious eyes, with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so, and you will not be disappointed. Wow, water signs. What's going on, gang? All right. We're going to clear the decks and move on to fire. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Whoa. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 5th through the 11th. Hanged man, death reversed, two of pentacles reversed. We're taking them. Somebody can't decide whether they want something to be over or not. Somebody may well be fighting a death cycle. Someone may well be juggling. Page of Swords reversed. Three of Cups reversed. The poor little Page of Swords. He's upside down like that when he's speaking is not necessarily telling the truth if he's speaking at all. He's not being honest. He's saying whatever somebody wants to hear. <coughs> Eight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Swords. Three of Swords reversed. Someone's not putting in the work. Someone's getting wrapped up in a mental prison, not wanting to break someone's heart. All right. Could be avoid attempted avoidance of a third party situation. There's two threes upside down here. Someone's fighting a disconnect. 
I did not mean to take those off the top, but that's where they went, so here we go. Three of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Swords, Emperor. Oh, wow. Shoot. Cups reverse, strength reverse. Oh, shoot. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Five of Wands reverse, trying to avoid conflict, trying to avoid breaking someone's heart. Not Certainly not doing what's best for you. Certainly not practicing self-love here. Give me a jumper. Fighting a death cycle. Can't make up your mind. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Why do you feel like you're not good enough? Why are you holding on to something you don't need to be holding on to anymore? Because you feel like you're not good enough for something else. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This just feels like this is my fate. <laughs> no babies, no. No babies, no. The moon. The path is not lit, honeys. You you don't have all the information yet. Why the page of swords reversed? Three of cups reversed. Knight of wands reversed. Stop. Just stuck. There's a new offer wanting to kick off, but you're stuck. Why the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Ten of Pentacles reversed. If someone's not putting in effort, it's affecting the home life. Three of Wands, someone's waiting, someone's waiting for the other person to put in effort. Put them back, there's a bunch of them there. Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords. There's conflict here. Someone feels like they're being ignored. It's a new start wanting to kick off, but somebody wants to walk away, but they can't. They're stuck. They're stuck. Page of Wands. Somebody wants to make that offer. Why are the Eight of Swords? Why are the Eight of Swords? Oh gosh, okay. Judgment reversed, Magician reversed, Two of Cups reversed. It's almost like a bullying energy. Wrapped in a cage of your own thoughts, being manipulated.
You're being manipulated. You're about to be manipulated. Somebody's going to try to manipulate you. Chariot. We're doing this my way. Oh gosh, double reversed. And somebody else is like, like hell we are. Why the three swords reversed? King of swords. Logic over emotion. Very cutthroat. Very simple. The hermit. The two of wands. How do I do this without hurting you? Hmm. How do I do this without hurting you to benefit everybody involved? Simply. That's how you do it. Why the Three of Pentacles reversed? For why it all happened. Lovers reverse, four of swords. There was a disconnect. Could have been ghosted, could have been friend zoned. There was a disconnect. There was a period of rest, taking a break. Nine of swords. Why the nine of swords? Ambush reversed. In reverse. That's like the breakup of all breakups. Wow. Somebody went batshit crazy for a minute. World. Restarted a chapter. Oh, God. Pentacles reversed, eight of cups. Nine of cups. Live in large. Did some of you... I feel like somebody went back to an ex. Without the best of intentions, or an ex came back. Why the Emperor? Somebody may be lying about having feelings for someone. Case of Swords. Three of Cups. Emperor reversed. Oh gosh. Oh man. This feels like, okay, I'm going to let you have your throne back for the sake of not being alone. Five of Wands. And it's just conflict. This is my fate. Oh my gosh, guys, why? Why? Why the Queen of Cups reversed? Ten of Swords, yeah. You're going to end up ending a cycle. Causing some... Going off, starting something. Hold on one second. Yeah. Ending a painful cycle. Yes, it's going to cause some negative energy, but you're going to start something new. You're going to fill your own cup at the end of the day. You're not going to lose any sleep over it either. You're going to let go.
Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I see you making the decision that's best for everyone involved. Possibly taking on a new offer. We're going to get a wisdom. Mm. Fire signs, I love you. I don't know what the hell just happened on my table, but I don't like it. By the book. Well, by the book. Number 11. One plus one is two. There is a decision to be made, isn't there? Number 11. Abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural and family customs, universal laws. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that divides, that, sorry, provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them, rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow these rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws, and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. Fire, friends, I'm going to pause and we're going to move on to Earth. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 5th through the 11th. Let's see if I can get a flyer. King of Cups. Some of you got poker face right now. Four shuffles. Emotions there, can't express it. Queen of Swords and the Fool. Hmm. Well. Star at the bottom of the deck. There is a healing taking place. Star comes in after the shit's gone down. Don't see any towers yet. Someone had you in a state of waiting. There was a disconnect in something that was potentially toxic. Possibly could have been a Capricorn involved. Possibly could have been a Pisces. Could have been a Cancer. Could have been an Aries. Could have been a fixed sign. So, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Aquarius. Mm, got a little bit of everybody on the board here. K 
commanding and demanding truth right now. Challenge is trusting a process. Hanged man accepting the fate of a situation. You go here. I didn't ask anything yet. Poker face. The emotions there, but you are not expressing it. You're accepting the fate of a situation. Why the Queen of Swords fool? Why the Queen of Swords and the fool? Five Wands. That makes more sense. There's conflict. Four of Wands. But that conflict opens up a door. It's the argument that needs to happen. Sometimes when we speak our truth or we demand our truth, we open doors we don't want to open. But these doors are necessary. Okay. Why the Knight of Pentacles reversed? Seven of Cups reversed. Somebody pulling back an offer, possibly causing confusion. A little Jade of Jealousy. Why the Wheel of Fortune reversed? Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Loving You Again, Finding Your Independence Again, there's that King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. the chariot. Page of wands, two of wands reversed. Crossroads. Which step on down which path leads to abundance? Which way do I steer this chariot? You hold a cup for someone who's fiercely independent. They have a cup for you. One of you wants to start something new. And the other one of you may want to, but isn't saying anything. I don't know who's doing what. But this conversation, this conflict opens up a door, opens up a Pandora's box, possibly. The healing shall take place. Which path leads to abundance? Page of Wands, Page of Wands, Eight of Cups. You take the right path. Somebody left you waiting. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Empress. Could have been a pregnancy involved. Could have been a baby mama, baby daddy. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody left you waiting for the offer of a lifetime, but... Why the devil reversed? Magician reversed. It was bullshit. They were trying to manipulate you. Seven of Pentacles. You waited in vain. This was something toxic that you ended up disconnecting from. You got sick of waiting. You got sick of being manipulated. Somebody could have played the baby mama, baby daddy card. Somebody could have a baby mom or a baby daddy on the side that you didn't know about. That's why they left you waiting. Six of Swords, you moved on from that shit. High Priestess Reverse, somebody got left uh, feeling a little wounded. Two of Pentacles, Death Reversed. Five of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of Cups reverse, certainly not happy with being left out in the cold. The cycle never completed. I don't know why people think they're entitled to closure. They kept poking at you, though. You end up getting it. Or somebody does. You pull back your offer. You attempted reconciliation. And eventually you doing what's best for you. Finding your healing. Accepting the fate of your situation. Page of Wands, taking the path you're supposed to take, even if it means you walk away from something for good. You end up doing what's best for you and all parties involved by the Page of Wands. The fool. You jump. You trust the process. You trust your path. You trust your healing. You trust Source. You trust God. That's beautiful. Page of Cups, and look at that. You go off to find your Eight Cups. Queen of Swords. Cut out what needs to cut out. Eight of Cups. I'm walking away from it. Love yourself, command and demand truth. Do what is best for all parties involved. Do what is best for you. It is hard to disconnect, especially when you're being manipulated. Especially when there's babies involved, but you gotta do what's best for everyone. Mending. Mending, number 52, two plus, five plus two is seven. Seven is the number of transitions. Fifty-two. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes, the resentments, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of old hurts in order to reclaim your power. This is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. Babies. Babies. All right. Y'all have one heck of a week. Hopefully this coming week I'll be able to read some more cards. I'll get my, the rest of my energy back. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. 
and I will catch you when I catch you.